Hey, it's Jason from EnlightenedWebMastery.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to upgrade your WordPress.org installation. This is going to be everything you need to know, and it's going to be straight to the point. The first thing I want you to do is make sure you back up your WP-Content folder. This folder contains stuff that you uploaded, such as pictures, PDFs, videos, as well as your theme and plugins. Alright, now I want you to Google up WordPress Database Backup or wp-db-backup.zip. This is the file you're going to need to download. This is a plugin for WordPress that automates backing up your database. The URL is listed below and it's listed on the article at enlightenedwebmastery.com. After you've downloaded the plugin and installed it by going to the wp-content folder and then the plugins folder inside of there, you need to go ahead and activate the plugin. After you activate the plugin, I want you to go ahead and make a copy of your database. You can choose to either download the database or have it sent to your email. After this is done, you now have backed up everything you need to back up, your WP-Content folder and your actual database. So the next thing you need to do is deactivate all your plugins. Then I want you to go ahead to WordPress.org and download the latest version. Log into your hosting account and make sure that you have WP-Content and your WP-Config.php file saved along with your database backup. Unzip the latest version of WordPress and use your FTP program. Delete WP-admin and delete WP-includes. Once those are deleted, I want you to select everything from the new folder of WordPress with exception to WP-config-sample.php and WP-content. Your selection should look similar to this. I have WP-content deselected, WP-config-sample and WP-config. These files need to be edited and this file needs to be left alone. This file has your themes and any special images or PDF files you've uploaded to your website. So what you need to do is drag these files exactly like this over to your FTP hosting server. So now that you've got the files copied over to your server, what you're going to need to do is copy and paste the login and credentials portion from your wp-config file, the one that you backed up, to the new wp-config-sample file from the new WordPress folder. Then you need to rename the sample to wp-config.php. The actual parts that you need to replace are right here. Your db name, your db user, your db password, and your db host. This is the sample file, which is what comes whenever you download the zip from wordpress.org. You need to replace this information with the information from your wp-config file that you downloaded earlier. All you're going to have to do is replace your database name, your username, your user password, your user local host. When you're done with this right here, you've updated all of these, which you can do by opening up both files and Command C or Control C and then Control V or right click copy and then right click and paste. When you're done with that, you need to rename this file right here from wp-config-sample to wp-config. So after you've renamed the file, what you're going to have to do is copy that file back onto your server. And once the file has been replaced on your server, I want you to log back in and make sure everything is working and everything is as it once was. You can do this by going to yoururl.com forward slash wp-admin. So once you're in, everything's fine, your content's still there. What you need to do is reactivate your plugins and try and make a note if any one of them breaks. And you're done. I hope you found this video useful. You can find more videos such as this at enlightenedwebmastery.com. You can learn more about WordPress at wordpressfoundations.com. So have fun upgrading to the latest version of WordPress, and thanks for watching this video.